5.48 a.m. Got Captain Sammy, Turn James, right, Street. Octavio, we're going big. yours truly. Heading to L.A. We're going to pick up uh, a brand new 43, phone number 98. And uh, we'll take you guys for our L.A. taco tour with us today. Turn and left all the shenanigans we get into. Thank you. Right. If we could just turn the volume up a little bit louder on my GPS, <laughs> I think that would be awesome. Comment side, below if you think Ensenada has better birria right. or Los Angeles. Good morning, Michelson YouTube. It's Sam with Michelson Yachts. I'm standing in the giant crater or freighter offload. Thing up in San Pedro, California. Today we are going to be offloading 43 hole number 98. I got the gang with me. I got PJ, Tavo, and James. And we're going to take you guys up on this freighter and show you this brand new, beautiful Michelson 43. Come aboard, take a look. I follow you. <laughs> I think PJ's having a good time. <laughs> Look what I found. That's awesome. It's protected. It looks so good. Ready to offload a yacht? Ready. Alright. Ready. Should we use a line? Yes. Oh yeah, we're done. James. Catch this one, okay? He's not heavy. Backpack. Okay, I'm gonna catch one of the lines. All right, James, you ready to catch me? Hey guys, we're here at the launch of this beautiful new Gen 2 Michelson 43, hole number 98. Just gonna give you guys kind of a quick rundown of what we do. So you probably see some videos that Sam will put on of us carrying all our gear onto the boat. We need to kind of weave our way through the maze of this freighter. Uh, so basically, first thing we do is we open up the engine hatch here, which we've already done, but the propellers are stored down here in crates. So we, they were right there on that wooden pallet. And these are the supports for our hard top. Here's our beautiful QSC 550 Cummins engine, QSB, excuse me. So we've lifted out the crates with the props. Sam can show them to you. They're down here on the hard now. We have to basically take the tape and the prop and shaft nuts off the um, off the shafts and sand them down get them all ready well once they lift this boat they'll strap it lift us about two feet off the ground and then we'll put the propellers on and we'll get some footage of that when we're doing it but just thought you guys would like to kind of see what the process is and then we've already fired up the engines here uh, just to make sure that they, they go in and out of gear so we've checked that just to watch the shaft spin make sure so when we go in the water we know we're good to go um, here's a quick First glimpse of the beautiful interior. Obviously not done. We got to put carpet, soft goods, window coverings, all that fun stuff. But uh, this is typically how they come. They got kind of creative with the flybridge cushions here, so that ottoman didn't slide around. That's cool. Yeah. So. So the ottoman's going here. Ottoman will go here. This stuff's some hardware for actually for up top, the hard top. Um, and you can Sam can show you the hard top through the forward windows. When we get to San Diego, that'll be lifted up with the crane, installed. Sometimes they lose ship us little parts and pieces that we might need for other boats. Some gas springs for the uh, underslung hatch. And uh, yeah, so just kind of wanted to show you guys, here's our swim platform. So that's actually stored the, it actually costs us a little bit less money if we don't have the uh, overall length of the boat as long as it is gonna be in San Diego. So 
by taking that off and installing it in San Diego, we save a couple bucks on the shipping. Um, so yeah, little uh, glimpse of what goes on here during offload. So no chairs, obviously, and no enclosure. And a gloomy day up here in San Pedro. All right, more to come. All right, YouTube, quick update. So we pulled in to get some gas. We're filling up. And what is right across the street right here? other than a birria spot. Birria tacos coming up. All right, guys, we're down here in Ensenada, Mexico, and uh, we're at Tacos El Gonzo, El Coloso. <laughs> Just kidding. We're in San Pedro, California. We're going to go try some uh, stateside birria. <laughs> All right, we're trying it. Normally, I'm like a little sketch when you walk in and no one's there, but... Is this the best birria in San Pedro? Yes. All right, that's what we like to hear. We're excited. Oh, yeah. For the... This is where you can eat tacos like you're in hell. Love San Pedro. I was actually born here. Fun fact. Do you know that? I was born here. Oh, very cool. Yeah. And I lived on a sailboat here for some period of time. I knew that. Dude, that room's a trip. Is it? I gotta go yeah, back. you gotta check it out. Cool. Yeah. We just had to carry these. Tell them from San Pedro. No, we all the way through the, the up and down, up and down all the ladders, and we brought soup with us. Didn't spill a drop. Tavo, we brought you birria. We'll see how it is. All right, we'll unveil it for you guys. All right, moment of truth. Whoa. Oh, look at that. And it's like deep fried, like how Tavo likes it too. So Ensenada or San Pedro, we shall see, but that looks pretty damn good. All right, James. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Yeah, that's it. Oh, check it out. Pretty excited about this too. Those look legit. Is it consomme? Not going hungry today. This, this little. Oh, nice, some little chips. Ooh. What was this place called? I don't remember. But I don't remember, it but it looked good. Oh yeah. Tom, let's show everyone your knife. The bottle yeah. opener. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey, you can. <laughs> All right, this is like a oh, little. Shoot, I grabbed two. This is a little. Uh, a little hot sauce. Potale, maybe some habanero. Give it a little dunk in there. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Wow. It's good, guys. The whole thing. Go big or go home, baby. Dude, is it hot? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm getting hotter. Well, PJ's gonna be breaking in your. Uh, Dayhead toilet on the way. <laughs> Dude, I know, that's what I'm saying. You're crazy, dude. The crane operator lowering the, uh, the lifting boom. Got the straps on it. The longshoremen are gonna put the straps under the, actually they're gonna attach to the cradle. So they'll lift the whole cradle up while the boat's sitting in it. They'll float it so we can get under there and get the props on. You know, about three feet off the hard deck here. 
get those on ASAP, and then they'll actually lift the boat up, take it out over the, the asphalt um, or lower it, and then they'll take it, put it over the water, and we'll drop, jump from the dock onto the boat. So. Seeing how the sausage is made. Heck yeah, you're going on YouTube. <laughs> what, you want to pull it, remember? Pull on the other side? Yeah. Okay, we gotta line up. Let's line up. Line up. Right on the cue with this way. This way. Yeah. You're way tall. Black way, black way. Yeah. Right there, right there. One, two, three. Okay. Beautiful. 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 When we, uh, once it goes out, we gotta put all the gear. Thank you. Okay. James, open that wrench. Okay. Hey, still? Ready? James. Cool. Cool, cool. Our YouTube props are on. Um, Heading up, next time you'll see us, we'll be putting this thing in the water. And yeah, exciting day. How we doing? Loving it. Love seeing you. Jaime, how we doing? Doing great. All right. All right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no backflip? Else? That's oh, it. Orange straps, huh? Straps All right, YouTube, thanks for watching. That's how you offload a Michelson 43. PJ and Tavo hop down like you guys saw. He's gonna make some more videos, but James and I are driving back. We got the easy car drive today. Yeah.
Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment what you guys want to see next. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, we're out here. Cruising along. What's our speed, Tomo? Well, I'll tell you, we're doing about 80% load. Oh, no, it's only 70. 22.8 knots. Cruising along nice. like 75% load. This thing runs awesome. They just pulled a bank job. <laughs> yeah. How's the fishing down there?